Hello, welcome back. So in the previous video we talked about testing coverage and we make sure that we're hitting all the lines of code when we run the test suite. So we have 100% of coverage. And in this video uh, I'm going to talk about packaging and how to make this something that you can install another system, you can distribute. And, and, and the reason behind this is because in the past, myself, uh, had, I have a lot of troubles uh, trying to make uh, code work in different environments. So I used to hack a lot of the Python path and all this crazy stuff in order to point, being able to import things on my own repository. And, and you, you can get away with it, but it, there are proper ways to do it. And, and it, took, it took a long, long time to figure that out, right? It wasn't obvious for me since the beginning. So in this video, I think a nice way to wrap up the, the project would be finished with something that we can install, right? A distributable file and go a little bit about versioning and all that stuff. So let's let's do it. So let's say we're happy with Digipy, we want to distribute this. So well first let me show you something. So right now Digipy is just two files, right? We have a Digipy itself and the test suite and the test is importing Digipy, right? And using the library, doing stuff with it. So if I go to the terminal and let's say I start Python and say import Digipy, it works, right? I can go Digipy. So it's available. But I've been cheating, right? Because the test file and the module itself are in the same directory. So of course it's available. But what happened if I go one level up and try to do the same? Import Digipy, boom. So no module named Digipy. And this will happen if you try to use Digipy from your own project, you know, like import Digipy, it won't work because it's not installed, it's not available, right? So in the test, it's working because it's in the same directory, but that's it. It's, it's I've been cheating about it. You, if you try to do this with a more complex project, including several files, maybe different subdirectories and stuff, uh, this won't work. So we're going to go through the process to create a setup script and install Digipy and, and I will talk a little bit how, how this thing works. So if you do like pip list for example, pip is the Python uh, package manager I can say. So you can install libraries through pip it's a standard tool, it comes with the standard library in Python 3.5, I think. Uh, but it's been for a long time around. It's not a new thing. So you can see that this all the packages available in my virtual environment. So I have coverage, I have pip itself, setup tools, and wheel. And this is like a minimal environment. So uh, there's the number that the name of the library and there's a version number and you will see that there are three numbers this goes semantic versioning each number means a different thing I totally recommend you to you know go google it it's super well it's interesting it's important to know about that I won't go into the details but but look for it like if you don't know about this kind of why three numbers and all that stuff it's it's kind of important Okay, so the thing is, Digipy is not there. It's not available. So of course it failed. Uh, in order to make it available, we need to install Digipy. So how to install Digipy? We need an installer, okay? So for fortunately, Python provides uh, a module for that. Uh, and we can do exactly the same as any of those tools, right? It's a standard way to do it and we don't have to hack the Python pad or anything. So we're going to create a, a script, a file called setup.py and this file we're going to import uh, from uh, 
Ah, the tool setup tools setup tools. Yes, import setup. Yes, that's it. And now we're going to call setup. That's simple. So setup. And we need to pass some arguments here. Of course, you can go to the internet and look up the documentation. But the basic one, like the minimals, would be we have to pass a name for our package, our library. So it would be tgpy. If I manage to type. Okay. Then we need a version, right? That's like the fundamental things. We need a version number. In our case, it's the first version ever. Well, we can do it like that. And what else? Well, we need to indicate what's the packages or the module that will be included in this installer. So in this case, it's just a module. So we can say pi modules equal and it, it's a list and iterable and the module is digipy. And that will be for now. So if I save this, go back to my to the terminal, we can call Python setup. And there's one of the options. Well, of course, you can do help. And you will see that there's build, install, and there's a uh, command packages. There's a lot into it if you want. But one of those is check. So you can do uh, Python setup check. And that will check our installer or setup.py and will tell you what what's missing. So we are missing an URL and an author and author email as a minimum. So let's add those. So URL is github.com, my username and digipy. And author I will put my name there. Um, uh, what was the uh, author email? I will put my email there. Oh. So let's do the same thing. Check again. And all it's good. So now that we have a proper setup.py file, we can do a bunch of stuff. So if we want to install this or create a distributable file, uh, we can do Python setup. And the, the command for this is binary dist distributable. And the format, I recommend to use will. Uh, it's the current package format. It used to be different in the past. And it was a bit tricky, but we all, it's kind of compatible with all the operating system. It's kind of the way to go. So if we do that, it would do a bunch of stuff. We'll create a build directory, uh, egg info directory, and a dist. Well, let me show you. Nautilus. So, so this is a TGPy directory, and, and we have now this new directories there right and in this from distribution we have this file so this file is when, when you do pip install what it does is go to the web download this kind of file and install it right so we already have a distributable file if we want anyone else to install digipy they can use this file so pip install and the file and if you open it it's a zip file there's digipy and there's a bunch of metadata and that metadata comes from the arguments of the setup call that we did so it's all kind of connected and just for the sake of a demonstration let's say uh, pip install and the file was in this digipy now if I do a pip list digipy is there as any other uh, package and if I go one directory up and do Python import digipy it's all good it's available it's installed in the system so that that's pretty much it no need to hack around 
Uh, I, I can also, of course, pip uninstall digipy and it will do the right thing and install the files from the right location doing everything for you uh, so that's pretty much it you create this distributable file and you pass it around or you upload it to the server and yeah that's the way to distribute stuff there's a bunch of another features so for example when you are in development you probably don't want to package and package and package again to see the changes so you can do python setup and pass this uh, develop flag comment and that will install the UPI but in a special mode so there's like a symlink to this directory that's the that's my that directory I'm, I'm there now well you have to trust me in this because there's a link but yeah it's the current directory of the source code so you can have this live link there and of course you have you can install it uh, as any other package basically so that's it that's about packaging uh, so there's a bunch of new directories here so you most of the time shouldn't include that on your repository so distribution info and build will be created by setup so you do not need to save that so adding those to the git ignore should be fine so we can do that right now if i can pipe this to beam i need to copy this i just paste that there Put it there, maybe this. Cool. So get status. We don't have all that crazy files there, and that's it. That's about packaging. So that's uh, Digipy. That was Digipy. I hope you have enjoyed the series. Uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.